Okay, so this may be the last uh, clue. I got this medium clue from Dagonoths. So let's see. Yep, it is. So let's hope for those ranger boots. Okay, so this is another hard clue done. Um, let's see what we get. Let's not see what we get. Another hard clue. Hey, that's good. I like that. I'll take this. Okay, so I just got a black demon task and I wanted to block it. Just want to show you guys. Currently have 190 points. I was going to save up for, um, you know, the Slayer helmet. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you should get superiors or something. But honestly, I wanted to save up for Slayer uh, helm. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, sorry. Um, so I'm going to save up for a slayer, but I decided I'm going to block black demons. I hate them a lot. I also made an arc late, but I hate them a lot. They're not worth it on an Iron Man unless you get Monkey Madness 2. Even then, I'm not going to complete Monkey Madness 2 for a bit. Yeah, I'm going to get it done, but even then, I don't want to do them for a while because I want to wait until I have a blowpipe to do one. Do them because, you know, why not? And even then, when I want to kill the dudes, I can easily kill them off task to farm for my Zaynite shard. So I have no reason to really have black demons and they're a super common task. I figured I'd block them. I didn't want to spend the 100 points, but it's worth it. So, so we're gonna do, now we get to go and get our next assignment. What do we get? I think I'm gonna have to do it. I wanna do, the reason why I wanna do steel dragons is because they have a chance to drop dragon plate legs and metal dragons in general so it's the only reason why and I got I got my black mask and beauty so it's not that big of a deal but let's get this done so I'm going in getting my herblore up but to do that I need to collect white berries and in order to collect white berries I'm gonna need some more elf crystals so, <laughs> so that's what I'm doing right now is I'm killing these guys for some elf crystals um, I need two more and then I'll be good and then I need to uh, get a bunch of, then I'm gonna go and enchant these and collect a bunch of white berries and then we'll be good. So pretty much what I'm doing right now. As for what I'm aiming for, I'm aiming for 69 Herbler, well 68 actually, Herbler, so this way I can boost up with the Greenman's Ale to be able to uh, make anti-fires. The anti-fires I'm using for the Steel Dragon task I got in the last clip, I believe it was. Um, I got a Green Dragon task, which sucks, but I wanna do it rather than skipping it or whatever. I uh, decided to I um, want to do them the reason is because I do want to do them they have a chance to drop a Vissi which is just meh I don't care if I get one or not but the main thing is they do have a chance to drop dragon plate legs which I would love I need better gear especially non-degradable gear and dragon plate legs would be great to have it'd be a giant upgrade from rune legs so that'd be pretty awesome especially pre is that would be really great for just doing um barrows having those dragon plate legs would be amazing for barrows so that's the main reason why is right that right there so i could have tank legs uh better tank legs i should say so there you go that's my entire purpose for wanting to do them it's also not that bad it's only 40 kills with the slayer staff e it'll go by like it's a joke the main thing was just the amount of resources i was using just to get by was just like no bueno no bueno to kill them without anti-fire potions it's just it's no good so i decided i need to get the anti-fire potion so that's what we're going on now so i'll be back once i have all the secondaries Okay, so I finished collecting all of the secondaries I'm going to need for my herb lore and putting all the herbs I can into unfinished potions, exception being Canatine and Land Lanta Times, simply because I can't do them. So what I'm going to do is I got all these unfinished potions to do. We'll start with Renars, but I'm going to knock out all of these unfinished potions. And I'll see you guys once I catch up to all the ones that I can do finished. Okay, so I pretty much finished all the potions I can make with the exceptions of the weapon poisons and I want to minimize as much as possible. So yeah, what I am going to do though is I am going to, since I can now clean the lantodimes, I'm going to clean all of these and see what uh, amount of uh, weapon poisons I am going to have to make because I know I'm going to have to make some. But we'll see how many. I think I'm going to be able to make a significantly less amount because I got 13k experience just from, um, I forget what it's called, but I got 13k experience 
just from give me a second here sorry uh just from cleaning the other herbs so that was pretty good so that um puts a giant weight off uh the amount i need to make and then there's the however much experience i'll get from this in total so far experience i've gained from in herbal is 20 113 131k so yeah going pretty well like i said we're going to clean all these so we'll get a nice chunk of more herbal experience which will be nice and the game plan like i said is to get up to level 68 so then i can go and turn all of these into or not all but as many of these as i can into anti uh what are they called anti anti fire potions this way i can use them for metal dragon tasks and whatnot so once i'm done with uh, once i get 68 herbal i'll catch you guys up so i am at let's do this real quick i am now at 68 herbalers okay i gotta be quick dragon plate leg drop entire reason for doing this i can block steel dragons after this oh my god steel dragon plate legs oh my god i got dragon plate legs holy shit holy shit i i was completely shocked like i wasn't prepared to get any of this task i legit was just killing some steel dragons literally afking like whatever man and like um <laughs> And then they drop, and I'm like, okay, I, I want to pick them up on recording, but I'm, like, nervous because I don't want them to disappear. So I'm, like, I'm quickly, like, I'm unplugging and plugging my mic because I keep plugging it in wrong. And I'm like, come on, get it right. It's not anything too big, but it was just, like, one of those things where I just wasn't prepared, and I come out me completely off guard. I'm actually literally in the middle of uploading um, episode 10, and I'm just watching to make sure YouTube did it correctly. So what I do, if anyone wants to know my YouTube process, not that anyone cares, but I record the episode or I upload the video, then I go and I watch it right after. I watch all the way through just to make sure there were no, any kind of slip ups I missed or etc. Because at this point it would have been a, a, a little bit since I last saw the video. So what I would do is I'd watch it. I can see with fresh eyes and I pay attention. So I usually do something AFK and suddenly I just see text appear on my screen. I'm like, what? And I'm like, oh my God. And like, I'm just like pausing and playing the video at the same time I'm trying to open up a bunch of programs, trying to get it a full screen. I'm like, I don't know. It's not a huge deal, but this is awesome. These are tank legs. I now have tank legs on my Iron Man. I just need a chain body, which I can only get from either Calflake Queen or Dust Devils. So I'm pretty much not getting those. But yeah, I got really good legs. I just need to figure out what body I want to wear. I do want to wear the Barbarian Assault top, but... I don't want to spend the money to get it and I don't know how to actually do it. So it's like, I guess I'll never get it. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, just want to share that with you. Okay. So we just got another heart of clue. Okay, so it has been a little bit since I last made a clip, but it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I just want to update you guys and everything. I got seven or 80 strength. I got myself a 68 Slayer. That's route right now, and I also got a couple of items. So let's go here. You can already see them. I got another black mask, which I guess is nice, right? But we also got the shield left half. This is actually pretty awesome because I need this to complete a diary. I don't know what smithing level I actually need to craft it, but okay, yeah, level sixty. Sm oh, that's that's cheap. So yeah, I need level sixty smithing, and I'll eventually get that. But I can use that to complete the diary. So that's pretty awesome. So I already have that out of the way. And I was actually a little worried about that, but I got that out of the way. Got the black mask, which is worth a nice fat chunk of money. So we got that going. Um, other than that, I'm just doing some more Slayer, and I'm actually going to go do some more Slayer. I need to get more Monkfish. I'm already like, <laughs> I'm only down to 1,000. But yeah, I got an Aberrant Spectre task. So yeah, I got to go knock these bad boys out. So I will be right back. So I don't know how, but I completely messed up the settings for OBS uh, a couple scenes ago between audio and visual. So I do apologize if it fluctuates even still, because if I, I might accidentally do it again. But yeah. Anyways, it seems to be fixed now, so that's good. But I got another hard clue um, that I completed. I'm just heading here so I can, you know, bank and get teleports, etc. But we'll open it up in a second. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to check out my loot, because I just got... 90, 69, 96, 69 Slayer. So we're gonna check out the loot from that, see about how much that's worth. I may or may not out it right now, I don't know. I also just got 82 health, which gives me 97 combat. So we're three levels away from being able to do the best Slayer Master. So let's open up our reward and hope for third age. 
Oh, come on. Like, it's awesome. Like, don't get me wrong. I love it. It's just, like, I need more Lumberns. I'm running low, so that's awesome. Lum Lumberyard teleports. I need some of those to make quick planks for random quests and stuff. I like having those. They're nice. Um, Rune play body. Alkable. G. Fashionscape. Bandos. Fashionscape. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get everything I need. And then I'm going to show you guys my loot from 1 to 69 Slayers. Okay, so I totally didn't forget uh, to grab a new Slayer ring when I came back. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, what we got here is 50 Slayer tasks completed. I mean, I'm sure I've done more than this, but 50. We also have these bad boys. <laughs> I've got so much of this shit. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a Slayer ring. And I'm going to go and we have enough for the Slayer Helm, which I would like to get. But first things first, I want to get my next task because basically I'll have enough if I can complete the next task. I'll do almost any task, but if it's a task I don't have to skip, because there are certain tasks I will skip. If it's a task I don't have to skip, I'm going to buy my Slayer Helm. If the task I do have to skip, you know, we'll, we'll come back to it later. Taroths. All right. I'm perfectly okay with that. So now let's buy the Slayer Helm. Uh, <laughs> goes to actually buy it. Um, so Malevolent Masquerade, confirm. There we go. So now we'll, this way we'll have a skip prepared is the reason why. Um, so now I need to buy this stuff for So I know I have that. I have one of those in the bank. I need to get my stuff. <laughs> okay, let's grab this stuff though. So I can finally make a sound. This is gonna be awesome. I've wanted a Slayer Helm for so long and I can finally get one. So I know I need nose peg, face mask, ear muffs, and the spiny helm. Okay, I don't have any of this. So I just need the ear muffs and spiny helm and the face mask, or spiny helm and face mask. There we go. And I'll be able to make myself the Slayer helm. And then face mask, here you go. Oops, I hate how like, it's all wearable stuff, so you can't. And, oh, I need a, uh, I forgot something. No, didn't mean to, god damn it. <laughs> there we go, okay, so I can drop you, I don't actually care. And boom, we got ourselves a Slayer Helm. I know a lot of people are probably mad. You should have gotten in Superiors first, and I would agree, but the fact of the matter is, I don't, I don't care. Like, I legitimately don't. I wanted a Slayer Helm first, okay? And I'm actually happy to get Taroths because I want to fight them. So this way I can get the uh, Leaf Bladed Sword. I don't think I'm going to get it, but I would like to get it. It's pretty much my point. So anyways, we finally got the Slayer Helm. So I only have one more Slayer thing I have to buy. And that's the, uh, and then I can start working on, like, you know, buying little perks and etc. Or just saving my points up. Anyways, so there's that. Great way to start the episode. Okay, so a little bit of a surprise to me is just how high my strength level has gotten in the time of me doing Slayer. I'm at 82, over halfway to 83, um, and I'm already like 82 saying that I'm only 70 Slayer. 75% in, but you know, 70 Slayer. This is a lot higher than I thought it was gonna be. Legitimately thought I wasn't gonna have like 85 strength until, or yeah, 85 strength until I get to like level 83, like Aaron at 83, like 80 Slayer, which is amazing because what this means is my strength level is gonna be significantly higher than what I thought it was. Um, so that's good, that, that's only good things. So with this, I decided to change it up a tiny bit just to kind of, accomplish some stuff so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get 85 a strength once i get 85 strength i'm gonna get my defense up to 75 this is for two reasons one this will get me 100 combat so i can finally do duradel and the reason why i wouldn't do duradel i think that he has better tasks um or like task waiting i should say so it's better for experience i think um don't quote me on that but you know there's that and then the other reason is I'll have slightly higher defense, so of course I'll take slightly less damage. My damage isn't gonna go down dramatically, but it will go down a tiny bit, which is the big reason. 
So that's kind of the game plans. I'm going to focus from there. After I get 75 defense, I'll have 85. I'll have 75 attack, 85 strength, 75 defense. I'm pretty much going to focus on strength. And realistically, looking at this, I'm probably, if I don't switch from strength, I'm going to be like in the 90s of strength levels by the time I get to like 80 something Slayer, which is fine. Um, if I get to like 87 Slayer and I'm close to 9 or whatever I need for a weapon, I think it's 85 Slayer, and I'm close to 90, like 99 strength, I don't think I'll be close, but I think I'll be in like the, the high 90s, that'll be perfect because I just wanted to be 90 plus strength by the time I got my whip, and the reason for that was simply because once you get a whip, you pretty much, I'm pretty much not going to be training my strength or defense unless I'm doing something that requires like certain types of melee weapons. Just doing Slayer and other casual stuff with my whip, I'm never going to be training strength because I'm going to be on attack or defense simply because I don't like to use shared. There's nothing wrong with shared, it's just I'm going to be focusing on attacks, like my attack up, and my defense, like my defense up. So overall, that's kind of the decision I made, and we're going to fly through combat levels because of this, of course, but yeah, that's kind of the decision, um, which is good. I definitely think this is a good route for me to go through. I definitely am very happy that I decided to uh, go this route, and that's kind of my decision. Talk about first is what I'm doing. So I'm going to be catching monkfish for a while here. I do apologize for the visual lag. I'm currently downloading extracting loading multiple things at the moment um but yeah i um i'm currently going to be doing some fishing um for a while i only have 550 or 530 550 monkfish left so i and on top of the 600 something raw i have my bank so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do this for a while till i get i don't know maybe a couple thousand 3,000. I don't know. I'm just going to do this for all so I can restock my monkfish, cook them, of course, and we'll go from there. Now, you're probably curious about my microphone audio is the issue has been resolved. So you might have noticed, and I think it might have been episode 10 and 11 or just 11, I'm not certain, but there might was a, a slight humming noise in the background. And in some clips, you'll hear it, some clips, it's not there. I had a feeling as to what this was, but I didn't know for certain, and I didn't want to take the time to bother to. To test it until recently so what what was going on well my usb front ports have always been shit forever since i've had i've had this computer they've always been bad eh, but they've been workable you know what i mean but i think it, the, the right one has finally kind of just it's kind of finally gone kaput what do i mean by that the left one just straight up doesn't work the right one works, but it'll disconnect sometimes if I, and I always plug my microphone there because I would plug it in and out. And then if I moved it to the, if I move my microphone, it would, you know, immediately disconnect it. If I did anything to my microphone other than, you know, talk into it, like touched it, touched the cord, anything, it would go. Here I can, I can move it around. And I was never able to do this before. I could never, or when it was in the front, I was never able to use it and do that. If I did that, it would just fuck up. So there you go. So, but now I'm a USB short and I have stuff I want to plug in. I don't need all the USB ports, especially if I don't have my microphone plugged in, but I was like, I really want those extra USB ports and whatnot. So I, ha I have a USB hub I decided to take advantage of. And so that's what I'm doing. Um, I only have one extra USB port because I do have my controller plugged in at the moment which I don't need plugged in. So, you know, there we go. But yeah, everything is working perfectly fine now, which is the good part. So the TLDR, this, the quality should be A-OK -okay now. I do apologize for the bad audio quality in the previous stuff, but it should be good from this point forward. So yeah. Anyway, just wanted to announce that for you guys and keep you guys kind of updated what's happening. And I'll catch you guys when I'm done catching these fish.